Okay, so we're at the UC MMA 33 in Troxy in London, Saturday night. We've got um, Uma Tiani, he's an um, MMA fighter. Three fights did you say you Three won? Three fights this year, including UC MMA World Weight Contender title, I won last year. Yeah. What, what edition was that? UCMA? Uh, it's part of UCMA basically. Okay. You have to win that title to come on the main show, which is here in Troxy. Yeah. So I've been here since the last couple of years now. Alright, okay. So with regard to um, your training and your sponsorship, tell us a bit about that. Uh, I've got one sponsorship who helped me a lot, Real Fishing UK, which they provide me with the, all the clothing and everything else. And the rest of the art sponsor myself. And I work full time as well, 60 hours a week, and uh, yeah, diving and yeah, everything. What's well. this charity element? The charity okay. basically, uh, okay, uh, in Pakistan and uh, Africa, basically, every fight I fight, I fight for the like, you know, four people up in uh, up there, basically. I just send the money to, you know, common people. So basically, yeah. all, all the profits that you get, you don't Yeah, them I, them I donate it, yeah, I don't keep a single penny to myself. And uh, I just, like, as long as I pay the bills, obviously, I'm not a rich man, and uh, I work full time, and I uh, just. That's it really. All the money goes last six fights so far, yeah. Okay, so we saw a real bloody fight it was. Jordan best fight of the year. Jordan Ryan versus Jermaine the Pain Facey. Best fight of the year so far. Wow. Okay, so he was totally flawed. I mean, there was a lot of commotion. Yeah. People getting emotional in the ring. You know, trying really to get into cage side yeah, security. Yeah, that'd be funny because that, that, that looked really I've never, serious. That, I've never seen that. it myself. That was the first time I've seen it myself. That was an unbelievable knockout. The fight could have went either way. But never seen anything like that myself. Hopefully Jordan Wright is alright, you're close to me. But that was the vicious knockout. Okay, so we're looking forward to um, Ben Callum now. He's going to be fighting. Uh, Dennis um, Sunderland from uh, Hammer Hamster. He's from the team cross base. Yeah. So what do you think is going to happen there? Ben Callum, in my opinion, is the favourite. He's young. He's, he's come to a knockout every fight. But Dennis Sunderland, is not, he's been around for years and years. Yeah, for the he's best. a veteran. He's a veteran. He for everybody. Like, he fought the best of the best, personally. If he goes past the first round, I think Dennis Sunderland, in my, my opinion, is a He's got the capability yeah. to win the fight. When's your next fight then? Uh, hopefully in India, Super Fight League, I've done a uh, 3 fight deal with them. If not, I'll be back hopefully on UC MMA 34. He's all up to the boss, Mr. Dave Dunham. And I did ask for one fight, I never asked for a fight. It's uh, Kulji Diga, which is, I hate the guy with passion. Yeah, I hate the guy, yeah. <laughs> but for many, many reasons. Yeah. And uh, that fight, um, people can come across the country to watch. No doubt in my mind. Okay. So, and I promise you, I will hurt that guy, that's why I want to hurt the guy anyway, and I will finish him first round, that's no doubt in my mind, if he takes the fight, because he's good at talking anyway, a lot of people talk, but no backbone to follow by anyway. So, so who do you look up to mainly in MMA? Uh, MMA I look up to, I've been training with uh, Mr. Earl Brown, he's a veteran in the country, he's about 48 now, and they're still fine, and uh, I know he's like 18, 19 years old, and uh, I train with the SW Fight Club, Mr. Okay. Gary Banks, he yeah. treat me like a son. And I've only been in this game for about two and a half years, two years. Okay, so, but you're so, doing all right then. Yeah, I'll fight anybody basically. I don't get choices, you know what I mean? They don't give me the list, Uma, which guy you want to fight. Whoever comes, then I'll fight. As long as I perform, put a good show for the fans, I'm happy. Any messages to the kids? Kids, they're just all respect to elders. Like I said in my interview, they're addicted to MMA as well. And I work with kids anyway, uh, in school. And uh, yeah, I've got some of my own as well. So, all respect to elders. And stay away from drugs, alcohol, and uh, listen to your mum and dad. And your teachers, like your parents, anyway. Thank you, Thank you very much. And I'll see you later.